welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan and today we have something I have not seen yet. As usual, jumping beans! Mexican jumping beans because today is Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo! Yay! <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. If you haven't heard about Mexican jumping beans, they're inside of this bag. We're going to take them out. We bought 200 of them. So let's grab a few of them. Let's put them on Lincoln's hand. There we go. Go. Maybe these are dead ones. Oh, and where did we get these? No, we did not go to Mexico. We tried. It turns out the city that it's in is not the safest place to visit at this time. So we bought these online and got them sent to us. Why aren't they safest? I don't know. Wow. This is really cool. Like if you're a school teacher, this would be a really cool thing to buy to show your class. <gasps> oh! It moved! It moved! It moved! Put it in your hand? Yeah. It moved just a little tiny bit. This one right there. See that one? Right there? That one moved, but it was face down, not so up like that. Oh, it moved. So, oh, look at it! <laughs> look at it! Oh! oh it's it's like, totally get, moving. Get me out of here. Maybe that one's the only one look alive. That one. This one just moved like crazy. Oh, oh that one, another one moved in there. Look at that, it's going, oh. uh, trying to get away from your hand. There is something inside of these. We didn't get completely ripped off when we bought these off the internet. That is crazy. Oh, another one just moved. There are things inside oh. of here. Big dog, dog. I'm surprised it's actually working. They are a little seed on a bush in Sonora, Mexico. It's the only place in the entire world. And these moths come and they kind of leave their larva, whatever it is, inside of the bean. Mm -hmm. And as it grows, it eats the inside of the seed. To one point, it falls off onto the ground. And then when it's on the ground, it can sit there for up to a year. They're very sensitive to temperature changes. If you put it in your hand, it feels the heat pretty quickly of your hand, and it realizes, oh my gosh, this is too hot, let's move, because if it gets too hot, it gets dehydrated, and then the worm will die, and then it will never turn into a moth and fly around. That's interesting. There you go, there's some history, background. We need to cut these open and see what's inside of them to see if there's actually some kind of worm in here. This is kind of weird. So are they living creatures? Yeah, they're living worms. Will they worms. die in there? If they get too dehydrated, they will. Or if we cut them open. In the arms of I've got an idea to try to accelerate this process a little bit. I'm nervous. Fire. Oh, one's already moved. All right, we got a heat. They did say- Oh, that's hot. One thing, already? yeah, it's hot, don't touch it. So what I did read is that even enough heat of turning up the air in your house will be enough to stimulate them, or the temperature from your hand. So this, this is pretty hot right here. Over a long period of time, if they're too hot, then they will die, but it is definitely a long period of time. So let's see how much they move. This yeah. is definitely working right now. Maybe you think jumping bean, you think it's gonna jump like five inches in the air. I don't think that's the case here. No. You know, there's a lot of animals and things you feel bad about. I don't know if this is one of those things. I feel like I'm like a government official right now interrogating somebody. Tell me where you hid the bombs. In those. It's a hot day to be a bean. Okay, that was a really good experiment. I thought it was a good experiment. We were able to see them accelerated and start moving. Some of them didn't move, but I would say 70% of them did, so. I made a face. There's definitely something inside of here, and I wanna see what it looks like. Yeah. The first living organism that we've ever cut open. I don't really think of this as living. Okay, so, got a few knives. How do you pick one? Who's the lucky one? They wouldn't be very lucky if they were being cut open. This one right here. Okay. This is one of the biggest ones that we have right here, and it's been moving a lot. Let's wait and make sure it actually still moves. I want to cut one open that moves. These guys are loud. Oh, it moved. It moved. Did it really move, or did the wind push it over? Oh, I, bet I hit it. Yep, it moves. We are about to set him free. There's this hard brown layer on the outside, and then you look on the inside, and it's green on here with this little tan looking spot right there. That's probably where the worm is. Okay, I've made a small hole in there. There's just a little tiny hole. It's probably worm. so bright for his eyes. Wormy worm, you coming out? I'm trying to be gentle. I don't want to just cut his face off. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of 
crack it open here. Can you? I thought I could. Is it even in there? Okay. You can hear all these guys jumping around. Look at that. We got him. And we didn't kill him. Not yet, at least. What are you doing? Look at him. Buddy, I'll catch you if you fall. Oh, Ooh. he's got a string. <laughs> it's like a spider. Yeah, he's like going to build this little cocoon. When you get some rotten food from the grocery store and it has like maggots in it, you don't feel so bad about killing those, right? Should we eat it? Put a poll question right there. No. Should Lincoln or I eat the maggot guy? I think it pooped. It was like, whoa, 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 whoa. that's what it was doing in there. Is that what you're doing? You poop? <laughs> He's still alive. He's still alive. He's looking. Let's put him in his little, his little home. Let's put him back. Look how many. We have all these worms. I don't want these in my house. I don't want them to like turn into moths. And I wake up in the middle of the night and there's moths all over my face. Ah! So a Mexican jumping bean does have a little worm that will turn into a moth at some point. And it has a little string thingy. I hope you have a good Cinco de Mayo and I hope your chips and guac don't have little worms or maggots in it. I'm gonna touch it. If it does, you can think of this video. Should I touch it? Look, it's back in its home. Yay. Kind of a cool thing for teachers if you wanna have them for your classroom to show students Mexican jumping beans. If you do wanna buy some of these, we bought them off of eBay and they only have them in the springtime because that's when these come out. These fall off the bushes and they're able to get them in Mexico, bring them to the United States, ship them out. I think they ship these from San Diego. They don't actually jump super high. Okay. They just kind of <laughs> shake. <laughs> they're like they're more like Mexican rattle beans. Yeah, that would be a better name, but that or, doesn't sound as cool. Or Mexican rattle worms. I didn't think that it would actually like look like a worm. We will have a giveaway. If you would like one of these Mexican jumping beans, let's say we'll give away, how many, 30? 100. 100? Yeah. Okay, um, I don't know if we have, do we have 100? Yeah, I think that's said, what I bought. You said you bought 200. Okay, we'll give away 100 of these and actually mail them to you. 100 stamps, 100 envelopes. We probably have to put some protective covering around it. I thought we were just gonna give 100 to one person, but yeah. No, like 100 yeah. different people. Yeah, let's do that. This is gonna be our biggest giveaway we've ever given. If you guys want one of these, one. let us know and we will send 100 people in the United States a jumping bean. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo.